Yes, yes. Hi, my name is John. Nice to meet you. I'm new to the neighborhood, and I just happened to notice your house. It's beautiful. I was wondering, are you looking to sell? My house? Oh, sorry, my house is not, not for sale. Oh, that's okay. I completely understand. It is a gorgeous property, though. You know that in this market, it would go for over $600,000. I'd be willing to offer you $800,000 for it, though. Full disclosure, my goal is to steal the house. Unfortunately, this elder, people just like him, they're bound to lose their home, not only to me, but maybe to my fake company. Me and scammers just like me all across America are able to steal over $3 billion a year from the elderly. Come on, what do you say? Why don't you let me in? We can discuss the details. You can come in, no problem. Thank you. They come up to us and tell us we don't want your kind in our city. It just it kills your spirit more and more all the time. I was done. I was seconds away from jumping off that bridge with a noose around my neck. ¿Qué es lo normal cuando escuchamos que uno de nuestros hijos consume drogas? Angustia, tristeza, impotencia, enojo, desesperación, etc. Se, ven, se desbordan una serie de emociones negativas. Dr. Seuss said, unless someone like you cares a whole awful lot, nothing is going to get better. It's not. What if this was where I was born? What if this was my bed? What if this was my playground? What if this nightmare never ends? What if no one cares? Several social service agencies are teaming up to help people living at a growing homeless camp in Minneapolis. 50 people live there now, with a majority of them being Native Americans. I had a plan for this wall. Addictions, evictions, your criminal life, everything. This is where it all stops. We are hopeful that we can end the encampment by the end of September. The city now says it will be mid-October before they have a solution. The city hopes to do that by November or December. The encampment along Hiawatha Avenue has quadrupled. We've got a baby in this tent, cute little guy, three years old. They're not doing anything to help us. All our answers and all our prayers will end at this wall and begin on the other side. 
Central City South is a, an important area in South Phoenix, directly south of really the industrial, the high-rise area. We have pockets of acute poverty, which is unacceptable in a lot of different ways. We realized there are more and more families that need repairs and revitalization of their homes. The, the streets were dirt. I had no porch. It was not a comfortable place to live, but we lived here. There's ups and downs in the neighborhood. There's a little bit of work that needs to be done. Revitalization is you can see the impact on your partners, your family that you're partnered with. I started seeing all of the volunteers come through. They were hyped, they were motivated. I mean, many hands make for light work, and that's what it's gonna take. I believe that Haitians can be helpful to Haiti. Only thing would help me die in peace if I see a really hospital for the people. I'm the teacher of the club and uh, there are some students too. We are having the classes under the trees, like in the time of the Greeks in Athens. <laughs> the Haitian people have made a lot of progress and this should be said. We have a vibrant culture and we have a lot to offer. We have to let the world know that we do exist.